School lunch, a familiar part of the day to students around the nation. It's a time to socialize, take a break from learning, and chow down. But what do kids really think of school lunch? Have you ever wondered where your food comes from, or who decides what you eat? Find out with Mount Pleasant School nutritionist, Ms. Tessa Adcock. Hi, we're sitting here with uh, our school nutritionist, Ms. Adcock. The good thing is we can add variety right away. Um, right now, the way that we have the high school menu set up, um, there's 25 different days, cycle days, that go through the hot lunch room. So you're going to get 25 different days of a uh, main dish item. And right now we have a five-day schedule for the second entree item. So what I can do is um, offer a variety in those five-day cycles. So for example, you might see beef stroganoff and you know, cheese bread. You see the cheese bread on the menu every Friday. It's a very popular item. Some of those things I want to keep on the menu because I feel like kids really like them. Um, but the beef stroganoff you're going to only see once every 25 days um, coming through. What I can do, I don't want to take cheese bread out, but maybe we could you know, substitute out something like the Bosco sticks for another, another option each week as our second hot lunch item. All right. You know what, with, with the new guidelines, there are not a lot of um, uh, restaurant chains that can really get down to the nitty gritty and really provide options that fit within the regulations to be able to bring them into schools. So it, at this point, I really don't see Bredo's Pizza, you know, Chinese food, Subway. That's something we could do, um, just do our own Subway sandwiches and have them wrapped and have that be an option as our um, main entree items in the high school line. So we could definitely, you know, incorporate some of that. But fast food, too much sodium, too many calories, um, too much saturated fat. So we're really on strict guidelines for what we're serving you now. Um, but yeah, that'd be great if we could bring in a subway style sandwich. Yeah, or something. on I a mean, sub or, or I mean, on a like a, an Italian type loaf or something like that. Yeah, let me look into it. So the way that meals are designed here at the high school, um, about four years ago, the USDA put together a task force group that talked to the Institute of Medicine, they talked to the School Nutrition Association, and they really got down to review the scientific evidence, nutrition evidence of what kids need, what caloric levels they need, how much sodium, saturated fat, and I know I'm repeating a lot of these same things, but these are the guidelines that, that we're going by right now. So 750 to 850 calories total on average um, each day is what we're allowed to offer a high school student. Um, and this is based on scientific evidence for what students need. It's an average of a student who may not be as physically active um, as well as the athletes. So with that being said, you're receiving the amount of calories per day that kids should be designed to need. Um, on average. The other thing we have to consider too is how much are you paying for your lunch? When you think about the food cost of um, what we're providing, all of those items on your plate, the, the sandwich or the piece of pizza, the two or more kinds of veg, a fruit, milk, sometimes a cookie, um, all for $2.15 if, if you're a full pay student. So when you think about the items, how much do you get when you go to McDonald's and how much are you spending? spend up to seven dollars sometimes when you're doing a super size meal deal or something like that. I don't know, I haven't been there recently, but it can get pretty pricey. Um, so let's say you spent four dollars and thirty cents and bought two school lunches because you felt like that's what you needed. Um, you're still paying less than what you would get at a meal deal at McDonald's. So I think we really have to look at the quality of the ingredients that we're putting into the lunches, what our total food cost is, uh, for those lunches and the variety as far as the uh, fruits and vegetables and the whole grains and things that we are incorporating into the, um, the menu. Then. Very well said. Well, there's a lot of topics that we could really kind of go off on to. First of all, I'm really glad that the students are liking the, the 
fresh fruit and veggie bar. I think it's really important for students to be able to choose what they want to put on their plate, especially at the high school level, so I want to be able to provide that. Um, as far as real food, wanting more of that, I guess I'm not completely clear on what that means, except um, the products that we get from you know, our chicken nuggets and our, our hamburgers are 100% beef. Like, there's, there's nothing different about them than um, what you, the, the patties that you would buy at Walmart or Hy-Vee in the frozen section. Um, they're the same quality and um, quality of ingredients and quality of product is what you're going to get from the grocery store. The whole grain is something that is part of the guidelines and that's something that 100% of what we serve has to be whole grain rich. What that means is all of the bread, all of the buns that you have are at least 51% whole grain. Um, that's not going to change. There's nothing that I can do about that um, as far as the, you know, the quality of the product. Manufacturers are still coming up to speed and still improving the, uh, the R&D part of having products be acceptable to students that are whole grain rich. So that, that will be an ongoing thing and I think kids will experience change as they, as they come along. Um, fresh fruit, we had, I think, on the on the line this last week, a uh, pear sauce. It's like an applesauce made from fresh pears with a little bit of cinnamon, cooked down, blended just like an applesauce. So we are trying to incorporate some other things with the fruit that is available through commodities and is available through you know our distributor to provide some fresh colors and variety on the line. So it's always something that we're striving for and we continue to do more. All right, excellent. Well, thank you.